Okay, somebody made a mistake asking me about these Snap-on number 7 ratchets, so I'll go ahead and ramble on about them. Um, this one is a 1925 to 1927. It's a uh, 15 tooth mechanism. It only spins one way. Um, so to go the other direction, you pop this plug out uh, and stick it onto the other side. Snap-on called them a, a socket receiving plug. Um, in the 1925 catalog, uh, this ratchet was $3.25 and uh, a new socket receiving plug was $0.15 cents in case you lost yours. You could get uh, you could get additional ones. Um, this has a, a casting mark or a forging mark in the handle there, DIF, and that indicates that it was uh, forged uh, by Interstate Drop Forge, and those guys made a lot of the handles for Blackhawk in the same era. That company was uh, in Milwaukee in 1920, and they they made quite a few tools, not the ratcheting mechanism, but the handles. And if you look at a Blackhawk from you know those same years, they they all look you know awfully similar. Also, the, uh, the two guys that founded Snap-on both worked at Blackhawk at one point, which is uh, pretty interesting, I thought. Um, this is the 100th anniversary Snap-on ratchet, number seven, which I thought was a pretty odd choice since it's not, uh, you know, it's not 100 years old. Uh, the first number sevens came out in 1925, so I thought that was an odd choice for Snap-on to make a uh, number seven ratchet, uh, you know, to replicate one for their 100th anniversary. Um, this ratchet uh, has a few updates. It has little flat heads uh, on there, so you can uh, you can service the ratcheting mechanism. Um, but uh, this is kind of closer to a 1929-1930 ratchet with the uh, patent applied for and the handle on the number seven. Uh, the very early number sevens uh, have uh, have no number seven actually, <laughs> you know, forged into the handle, and um, this plug mechanism has the cup on it, which also that's about 1929 to 1931. The patent was applied for in 27 and they received it in 31. Um, but I just thought that was an odd choice on Snap-on's part to make this, which isn't 100 years old, you know, uh, a replica of that uh, for their 100th anniversary. But uh, pretty neat. I bought one anyways. They got me anyways. So, but uh, someone asked about it and I figured I would, uh, I would respond.